Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So today some pretty great news came out. Uh, the first Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns beta was announced. Sort of. Okay, yeah, that can sound pretty clickbaity. So technically I think ArenaNet are referring to th this as the first Heart of Thorns beta. But don't misunderstand, guys. This is a beta for the new game type Stronghold. Uh, this is not us actually in Verdant Brink or anything to do with PvE or anything to do with Wild vs. Wild or even playing the new class, as I'll explain to you guys very shortly. Uh, this is a 24-hour long beta to play the new game type, the new map coming to the competitive scene of Guild Wars 2's PvP for us to try it out and uh, hopefully give our feedback, as we should with a beta, as to what is balanced and what is not. Uh, going alongside this Heart of Thorns beta, ArenaNet are uh, doing some extra special stuff on the side, so let's talk about it. Now, a lot of the information I'm going to be talking to you guys about in this video um, actually comes from an article from 10 Ton Hammer. They tend to get their information out pretty quick. I think they even got it out before ArenaNet's blog post themselves here, um, which really doesn't explain very much. Uh, a lot of the information we're seeing coming from this is really going over what the new game type itself is. I have done uh, two videos on this in the past uh, on this topic before, so if you guys want to learn about it, if you been a little bit out of the loop uh, you can check those out and uh, hear exactly what's going on with stronghold but here's the way it's going to work uh, we don't need a different client as i talked about in a previous video uh, we will just be able to log into regular guild wars 2 and on april 14th okay for a period of 24 hours starting at uh noon uh, pacific time for the next 24 hours while you're in pvp you'll be able to play the new game type now, they have not said anything about being able to uh, put this map onto our custom arenas and run it in hot joins. Uh, the only way it seems we'll be able to play the new game type is through unranked. So currently in game we have um, practice PvP, which is the hot join system. We've got what they're calling play PvP, which is just unranked going into real games and playing them. And it's kind of uh, free for all. It doesn't really mean anything because nobody's getting uh, tracked or measured. And then you've got compete in PvP in the ranked playlist, which will actually score you. And you'll be able to participate on the leaderboards and stuff. What they're doing for these 24 hours is uh, swapping all of the unranked play over to the new map. So if you want to continue playing Conquest, if it's absolutely vital that you play Conquest on April 14th, and maybe you're quite high on the leaderboards, you want to keep going, um, then you can still do that. You'll still be able to play ranked, but the unranked stuff is being completely replaced for that day. And I do mean completely replaced. They did confirm on Twitter that none of the other maps will be running on that day. There will be no voting, really. Uh, there will just be the new map. There will just be new the new game type. And so we won't have to, like, fight over other people who maybe still want to play friggin' in deathmatch on courtyard people won't have that option to vote for it for the beta day you'll just go in there um so it would have been nice to have had the custom arenas going i'm guessing that they're not in because it's going to be extra coding on their end i suppose um extra stuff that they've got to think about the kind of rules and things that we as server owners uh, will be able to tweak or you know room owners will be able to tweak um, and that stuff's probably not in there right now so you'll just be able to go in for those who have never really pvp'd and uh maybe this game type is the thing that's going to bring you into it you don't need a team. You don't need a bunch of people on this day to be able to go in and play because this is unranked, okay? You can uh, solo join and it will match make you with a bunch of other people around your um, skill level, hopefully, and then you will be able to just push in. So whether you've got one friend, whether you've got none, whether you've got a whole team, this will be how you get to uh, experience the new map. And you can indeed, of course, uh, queue with five people. There are some other stipulations as well. They do say this is only for people in the West. Now, don't be scared by that comment. That simply means this is... Uh, Europe and North America. It's basically their way of saying, hey, if you're in China, you don't get this. Why are they don't get a beta? I have no idea, but these information channels wouldn't be where they're looking for that anyway. Uh, they do also confirm that the new class Revenant won't be available for this beta. I am absolutely expecting Revenant to be available for other betas. In fact, the stress test we've already seen, Revenant has been available. People managed to unlock their armor and stuff. And if you look at the character creation screen, you'll see if you mouse over it, it says, hey, Revenant locked for now, but it will unlock during certain times. So there's no Revenant. And on top of that as well, one other thing to consider is Stronghold, presumably anyway, is being built with not just the current meta and and builds and classes and specializations available but all the stuff that's being dropped in with Heart of Thorns as well you know this idea of players getting break bars there's presumably going to be quite a lot of balance tweaking and the game's going to be in a very different environment once uh, Heart of Thorns drops so this will be one of our only opportunities as players to experience this game type within the same kind of class ecosystem if that makes sense once Heart of Thorns does come everything's being blown out of the water anyway so feedback we give now is um, going to be much more valuable to 
to them than feedback even they get right at the start of Heart of Thorns, because if there's an issue, do they know whether it's the game type, or do they know whether it's uh, just a new specialization that's gone in the game, or a new weapon that's gone in the game as a part of a specialization that now excels far too well at a specific part of the game type, if you see. So if they can nail it down now, obviously it's going to be very useful to them. They did once say um, at PAX South that uh, there's no announced release date because you need to have beta testing to decide what the release date is. Does this mean we can really look at this and Arena Net is seriously going to be sitting down thinking, hmm, you know, this will determine whether we have this come out in four months or six months? I don't know, but it's an interesting thing to keep in the back of our mind. So um, that's what's going on again. That's April 14th. Uh, in addition to that, this day we'll also have a Ready Up live stream. This is the PvP stream uh, where Hugh Norfolk and Josh, aka Grouch, uh, will be hosting kind of a hey, this is how the game type works, sort of a beginner's workshop. So you can watch that again if you're still not sure. Don't forget, everyone's going to be noobs at this, guys. So even if you never PvP, just to be a bit excited and get in with the beta spirit, maybe you want to play. However, if as a noob you're still not totally confident, they are going to be running that on their li live stream, and I'll probably tune in. The one thing to note though is the live stream they do say is happening after the um, uh, beta has already dropped in the game. So you'll already be able to play the game type before their little live stream comes out. It'll just be shortly after. Then once their ready up live stream is over, it kicks off for the entirety of those next 24 hours constantly running on the Guild Wars 2 Twitch channel will be uh, various um, people, notable members of the community, of both the PvP community and just Guild Wars 2 in general, um, hosting on that Twitch stream every hour a different, like, uh, Guild Wars 2 celeb, I suppose, is going to be rotating and uh, showing off and playing the game type. So there's going to be a whole bunch of people uh, appearing on there. Uh, you guys can look on the screen for a bunch of the names if you like right now. Um, and there's going to be a pretty decent mix, I would say, of people who are from the PvP side of things. You know, so you've got people like Hellseth, you've got people like Sparty, like Jebro, um, and Shin, I guess, to an extent. But then also people who cover the game in sort of a more generic fashion. And maybe you wouldn't associate with PvP, but you've probably heard their names before. People like MMO, Inks, uh, Aurora Peachy, Matt Visual is going to be on there. Um, and they've actually got two slots here as well with TBD. I saw a post on Reddit already. People were like, I wonder if Wooden Potatoes is that. As far as I'm aware, guys, I um, have not agreed to do this. You know me. I don't really stream. Um, I've never really been much of a streamer, so uh, I can confirm I'm not going to be one of these guys. What they've got in store, I have no idea. Maybe these slots just aren't filled yet, and they kind of like, oh, we can't delay the news any longer looking to fill these slots. We'll just uh, throw the post out. Uh, most interestingly, of course, as well, is uh, immediately after the stream, we're going to have Blue, um, and then after Blue, we're going to have ArenaNet devs versus Twitch streamers. Uh, if you watch anyone PvP on Twitch, they could be appearing here, actually duking it out against the devs in the new game type and then on the hour after that as well this is going to be at 3 p.m uh, they're going to have an arena net devs battle royale which i'm supposing is going to be a bunch of our favorite devs uh split across two different teams and actually sort of fighting one another so that should be very fun i wonder how they'll pick their teams overall they're just kind of making a big event of it which absolutely i think they should this is technically our first heart of thorns beta and it's pretty exciting that's about it uh, alongside this as well they are putting the game back on sale uh, this is going to be another 75% off sale. So these are huge, huge, huge sales. The thing is, I think a lot of you guys listening to me right now already play the game. And so we don't really have so much need to of these sales. I will point out... Um, as a friend of mine was talking about in game the other day, in theory, um, if you do want to buy another account, uh, there are some benefits you can get from this. If you think about the new login reward system, you just have to log in, grab the chest, and then log out. Gra log in, grab the chest, and if you did that each day on an alt account, you're going to get a whole ton of laurels by the end, um, more than we ever used to get to but if you pick the laurel chest, and then you can turn those into T6 mats. There's also a lot of stuff as well, like if you um, play enough to get the raw mats each day, you could be crafting two Damask a day. You could be crafting two Delgemore Steel Ingots and a lot more. Also, technically, especially during a 75% off sale, this is absolutely the easiest way to get mules, characters that just hold items because your bank's full, for example. Really, really, really cheap method of doing that, uh, except, of course, it won't work for account-bound items. You can even share a bank between all of these accounts by creating a, uh, a bank guild for yourself and sort of using that as a way of swapping items between them. I don't know. There are perks. I already own a bunch of Guild Wars 2 accounts. I'm not going to be taking advantage of any of these sales but we might see since they did it for this first beta it would kind of make sense for them to do another 75% sale off when we get you know like a PVE beta right or a world versus world beta and I'm assuming we're gonna get at least one of each of those if you do want to take advantage of it guys there is a link to buy the game in the description down below I do see a cut of that if you use that one so that'd be really awesome but uh but yeah 
Anyway, there you go, guys. That's the uh, the PvP beta in a nutshell. I will be playing it. I will be covering it on the day. That's April 14th. Let me know what you think, guys. And uh, I'm particularly curious about how many of you have no interest in this whatsoever. Like, you know, you, you decided you never liked PvP when you got the game. And you're still not interested because we've seen a lot more people come in now. And I'm curious about that side of the coin. Anyway, I'm excited. I guess I'll see you guys there. Thanks very much for watching. See you tomorrow.